Hi, my name is Andrew. I've been racing for a few years. This weekend I'm preparing for the Padden Mountain Pedal, which is one of my favorite cross-country mountain bike races. Let's go riding! Lake Samish is the closest to a flat road loop I have near me, so I do most of my road training here. I do all of my structured workouts here also, so if I were using a power meter this is where I would be. I'm lucky enough to be able to ride from my front door to Lake Patton. This climb takes about 15 minutes. When I was living in Seattle, I used to do a lap around Magnolia because it took about the same amount of time and I thought it was probably good training for this. This boulder is something that I have been working on for the last few years that I've been riding at Lake Patton. Sometimes I think that when I visit this boulder and try to ride it, it's just a little ritual to make sure that I still can't. I wonder why should I think that today is going to be any different than every other day that I haven't been able to ride that boulder. But, I think today was different. I've been training using heart rate monitoring. I'm curious about using power because I know that over the course of a workout, my heart rate tends to decouple with my power output. So I think that using a power meter might help me get more out of the workout time that I have available to me. I also really like the concept of a wearable power meter because I think that it's something that I could apply to all of my bicycles as it becomes available for a mountain bike. And collect power data from races on terrain like this and then apply it to my road workouts. This was a longish workout and I did both uh, practice on some technical elements and stop and repeats.